Here we have a knockoff Power Wheels. This is a Audi uh, R8 little little car. This is one of the smaller ones, one seater. Um, comes with one of these type batteries, a uh, six volt. So um, what we're gonna do, cause these batteries, uh, they're just not great. And they're hard to charge and slow to charge. We're gonna do a little modification so we can run it off of a drill battery. I particularly have a lot of uh, cobalt batteries. So what I've got is, uh, we're gonna use a cobalt battery and we have an adapter. Uh, it can be purchased online. So it slides onto the battery. There's ones for uh, just about any drill battery out there, DeWalt, Milwaukee, etc. Comes with a uh, fuse in the line so you don't burn everything up, on off switch, and then you have the positive negative leads there. So we're gonna wire that into the system, but also so we don't burn up everything in the system, we have a, a DC motor regulator that we're going to wire in there. Um, this was also purchased on Amazon. Pretty cheap. So we have the um, right here, the input. You're just going to screw in the two wires coming from the battery. And then over here, the motor. So we'll screw in the two wires that are going to the motor. Then on the side, we have a potentiometer. So we can adjust um, how much basically voltage we want coming out. Um, and I'll show you, I just did this on this other uh, Silverado Chevy. This is a two motor um, version. So we have um, the, the plugs in here and this is what the final setup's gonna look like. You have the, the battery adapter here, fuse and switch there, comes into our regulator um, or DC motor control motor speed controller on the left there's a switch you can go um, brake stop run here we have the input coming from the battery output going to the motor and then on the side the potentiometer so I took a uh, multimeter while the system's under load so the battery's plugged in this is plugged in, this this ends plugged into the car and I'm uh, pressing down on the on the gas pedal so that it's pulling power from the battery and tested the outgoing leads here outgoing to the motor with the multimeter to try to get it so this this one is a 12 volt system so I wanted to know um, where the potentiometer should be if we want to supply what the system was designed for. So if we want 12 volts, put it around there. If we wanna bump it up by about six volts, we go there. If we wanna go full throttle, 24 volts, we go here, because I have 24 volt batteries. Um, so it's slight dangerous. If, if you're going 24 volts, like there's a chance maybe that um, you could burn out the motors or, or um, create undue wear on them. Uh, we, we were the other day running at 24 volts with um, a little little extra weight going uphill and it uh, blew the fuses a couple times. Um, so that, that's why I decided to, to, to get this system in here so we can use the 24 volt batteries and um, not overtax uh, the system and how it was designed. So we'll probably um, regular every day run it between 12 and 18. I, I think that should be pretty safe range. So let's come back to this one and let's get it all connected up. Okay, so we got our station set up. Um, to, to wire this. This little uh, controller is great because you, you don't actually have to do any soldering or any work. I, I did have to strip the ends of these wires. So this is the one that came with the car. It had little connectors uh, like this to clamp onto the um, little six volt battery. And then this, uh, I just had to strip the wire as well um, that goes to the the drill battery. So you just put the input here from the battery, output to the motor. I'll screw those in and show you what it looks like. We got all wired up, got it plugged back into the car. A couple things to do. We'll start with the uh, potentiometer in the middle, see what happens there. We will turn the switch between the battery and the controller on. We'll turn the car on. And if it's wired correctly, we should see power to the car. So as lights came on, uh, we got power to the controller with that little LED light. So we lifted the car up so that we can uh, hit the gas, see what happens. There we go, we're going backwards. So let's go um, 
all the way to zero. See if we get anything. Hey, super slow. Look at that. Slow-mo mode. Then we just tried in the middle. Now let's go max. So 24 volts. See what happens. Yeah. That's nice. That's nice. All right. Now we'll get the multimeter out. See if we can make some marks on this so we can have a calculated uh, estimate as to how much voltage we're pushing through to the motor depending on where we have this turn. We have the multimeter connected to the output there. We have the potentiometer. We'll turn it all the way to the left as far as it goes left. That should be as close to zero as it can go. And then with an assistance help, we will hit the gas and see what the multimeter is showing. Go ahead and hit it. Okay. Press it all the way down and hold it. The wheel might not turn. All right, so uh, you see it flash in there. It's like one or two volts. That's not even enough for the motor to go. So now we'll turn the controller uh, about a quarter turn. We're trying to find where six, six volts is. Not yet. Don't have my uh, multimeter. Okay, hit the gas. Keep going. Hold it down. Hold it down. That's right about seven. So you keep doing that, kind of dial it in to where you want, and then I'm going to put a, um, a just a little Sharpie on here and label it six. I'll probably label um, 12, 18, and 24 as well. I think with this car, because it's designed as six, we'll probably just keep it operating between six and 12 volts um, and, and go from there. So that's, that's how you wire that all up and um, really change the battery situation and you can uh, give yourself some more voltage to, to make the, basically get more speed. You can double the speed if you need to.